Hello friends, uh, this is Mainak, uh, your student bro. So in the previous uh, video, you can see that the part one of this video, we had uh, successfully designed the trust and the entire process I had demonstrated it to you. And uh, before starting, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more interesting videos in civil engineering and learning topics. And also drop a like because it really helps the channel to grow. Okay. And uh, now uh, we'll apply some loads here. So first of all, I'll apply the loads on the truss. So first, uh, for applying the loads on the truss, make sure you put a scene content. And after you put the scene content, make sure you turn on the roof panels. So when the roof panels are turned on, then only you can apply the loads. So there are two kinds of loads which you want to apply here. Simply, it is the dead load. That is the self-weight of the, you know, the sheet, uh, you know, this MI sheet or the stainless steel, whatever, you know, this uh, sheet you are providing and the roof panel that uh, particular load you have to consider in the dead load and the second thing is the live load if anyone wants to go for repair or something uh, then an additional load will come and uh, this industrial buildings are needed to be repaired so some live load also you need to consider so for that we we'll consider these two types of loads on the truss and the remaining loading part will be the same okay so uh, now for considering this dead load first of all we'll go to this loading part and just make sure we have the dead load selected go to load here and uh, after going to your load here and uh, make sure you select this uh, area load okay now area load uh, will for the dead load you can just select go for one for any type of roofing, this one is the maximum th thing. It will cover everything. So one, just uh, provide it here. And uh, once you provide this area load, then you can provide the imposed load. So you can just uh, make a separate model also for the roof imposed, or you can just uh, go do with uh, this same also. So I'm just going to show you because uh, it's important that I you know show you how do this uh, roof imposed uh, load works. So that's the fall that for that reason, can go to your load here you can see there are different uh, types of load here in the model will go and uh, in the home will go okay so uh, here we'll just uh, define our your loads uh, sorry for defining the loads you can go to load and then load cases okay here you will find the load here so uh, here you find this imposed load. We'll just keep the imposed load for now. Uh, or if you want to add also, you can just add here. I'll just add a new copy of the load here. And in this uh, load, I'll just uh, type here imposed. Or uh, you can. I'll just delete this because I can copy the imposed load to be better. Delete. And this one, I'll just uh, select this copy. Okay, copy of imposed. I'll rather name this copy of imposed as roof imposed, right? roof imposed and make this as your roof imposed. This is optional if you depend if you don't do that uh, doesn't uh, change many things. Okay. Roof imposed and just uh, select here. Okay. So now here I'll select roof imposed and I'll go with the uh, same area loads but this one will not be along element. This one will be projected and maximum live load you can select one. It will cover every uh, sort of purpose. Okay. I'm just going with the maximum one and then it is provided like this okay so now why did i didn't i delete the imposed load because i may have to apply the imposed load here so now there are two things so if it is the plinth level and it is uh, compacted then you don't need to apply the imposed load here otherwise if it's uh, a normal grade slab you might need to uh, consider to apply the imposed loads here so that is depends upon the purpose of the building i will apply the imposed load here uh, because generally uh, just to show you to apply how to apply the imposed load so i'll go here and click on imposed here and I'll go with the uh, you know the level load here and a level load of I'll apply the imposed load of two kilogram per meter square. The import load is applied here as you can see the import load level as applied as the level load and then I'll apply a dead load also. Now dead load uh, here I'll apply the load of the floor finish one uh, this as a level load the dead load applied and your live load applied you can go to the particular level as well. And then also apply so all the load possible loads which are possible have been applied now what you do you just uh, click on this validate and validate the model if there is anything wrong it will show up so now drip in this drip checks and this uh, some drip checks uh, error, errors are showing here not error you know warnings are showing that it may uh, have some sway also the members are small so let's see how to you know uh, you know negotiate that because one had also commented how to negotiate sway error so glad we got this warnings we'll see whether we can solve this or not okay so then uh, we just uh, go and uh, go to your loads and go to combination 
and then we generate the combinations and click on next and uh, obviously the combinations are selected and click on next next and then finish and okay so this combination is selected and they will design and design all static and let's see and perform the design some members might fail because it uh yeah yeah as you can see some members have failed now what is the you know this uh, drawback of this software there's one set uh you know this larger section is converted into smaller section but smaller section isn't converted into larger section so that is one uh drawback you might say so uh i'll select all the uh, columns here first of all all the columns have been selected here and uh I'll just deselect the beams for now. I'll just want to go, don't want to go with the beams for uh, now. The columns have been selected here. Now, when the columns have been selected, uh, make sure this uh, column stacks. Uh, I'll just increase the grade of the columns, FE 490 right? And then uh, what is the, the particular uh, type of this section releases, uh, Sway LDA, and uh, let's go the other option rolled yeah now i think i can change the column uh your uh, sections here so let me search for the option characteristics column steel composite rolled and uh, this center section yeah this is the section here i'll just uh, sc 300 h1 yes this one i'm just selecting and uh, then for this uh, then for all the beams i'll go here now i'll just go one same similar section for all the beams because that way the construction process is also easier right and uh, i'll just rotate it in a proper angle so that I'm just having some difficulties here in adjusting here back okay now now i think i'll be good right so now when the selected beams like this all the beams might be selected here so beams here and uh, let's see the section which is uh, available here, must be available here. I am going with MP500 and uh, okay, I'll just go with the higher one because if you give the higher one, it will automatically give the slower. I'm going with MP600 and then uh, click on this, uh, okay. Select and MP600 selected. And once MP600 has been selected, uh, we'll just go to your uh, click on escape and uh, click on this design design all static so the structure has been designed there is no error and the uh, sway drift also this is the no error because when you apply the wind load then it will come but the structure is not that much high it's less than 10 meters so i don't think that you need to apply the wind loads here so it's pretty much this structure as you can see here it is designed and one thing to note is that the weight on the truss as we already told you weight on the truss is not much here so the truss sections are pretty much uh, smaller or more economical in comparison to the columns and beams uh, but if we apply the wind load here and then apply the wind uh, load combination then the, the all these sections would be considerably uh this section sizes will be considerably higher now uh, we'll end this video for now and uh, in the next part maybe we'll apply the wind loads and also see it but for now we can just uh, apply uh, the earthquake loads also and this view because earthquake load this you construct in big building you have to uh, and just uh, consider the earthquake loads compulsorily whether you would not you compare the so we'll go to load we'll go seismic uh, load seismic wizard and uh, i'm considering zone five in india uh, zone pipes is in the northeast part you know, region of the country and also in the some other parts and ignore seismic below this base right uh, base or the plinth level which is considered an importance factor you can give one uh, generally 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2 okay and very important that is 1.5 1.2 is uh, for flats where there is residential but more people stay so i'll give go with one now and uh, use uh, this uh, model response spectrum analysis and then uh, structure type uh, now this is uh, we can uh, do it and uh, due to this uh, selections also some errors uh, come open so here uh, steel moment resisting frames without any masonry infills we can just select this because totally this structure is steel is not a composite structure there's totally steel then i'm not used any other things so here i'll go with moment frame systems and obviously uh, steel building with SMRF 
and move in frame system still building with SMRF. So when you apply the seismic load, the possibility of errors in the software come becomes large. So let's see whether we can deal with this uh, factor uh, right now. And uh, uh, right now we can just check this or you can skip this, okay? Uh, skip or check it is up to your uh, in view. Right now we'll skip and then again my, my, my check because I want to see whether there are any errors other than this, okay? Uh, operating next and uh, already this load combinations are selected and we'll go to combinations again so it's not load cases we'll have to go to combinations again just to uh, check whether because we have a new load so obviously we need to uh, generate the combinations once again and then we can design so uh, if there might be some errors i think because uh, there is some uh, you know this whenever we apply this uh, seismic load the possibility increases but possibly we have we don't have any errors but uh, what is there is a warning showing that uh, one or different uh, possible releases is there okay so i think we can ignore this uh, warning uh, the small warning we can ignore this but rest of all all in all the structure has been designed and no changes in the section as you can see so it is fully capable of taking the zone uh, 5 earthquake loads so it is fully capable of doing that and uh, the wind load since the total height is less than 10 meters you don't need to apply the wind loads and for that another thing remaining let's do it also if you want to just design the foundation here uh we'll go with simple pad based column uh the soil capacity is uh good enough 130 kilowatt per meter square is the soil bearing capacity at 1.5 meter depth below the ground level so we don't need to uh just to worry about that much so here this allowable bearing capacity 130 is the allowable bearing capacity of the soil and uh, then remaining things just uh, zoom out the model and apply the pad basis and you can just click on this design pad basis so once you design the pad basis are designed properly as you can see uh, if you are using indian codes you will get this warning of a development link don't worry about that it's a glitch in the software i told in the earliest my regular viewers know that uh, remaining things uh, this pad base is designed foundation is designed and then you can uh, just uh, uh, take out the results. So let's uh, look into how to take out the results and what are the results which we can take out of this. We can go to, uh, let's go to the structured base or uh, go level below. Let's uh, go to this uh, structure window levels and the bottommost level we are going into. And the bottommost level, let's uh, just go to your draw and then this uh, foundation layout right foundation layout and just uh, in the output it's better if you just uh, give a particular a folder name because these all these uh, folders you know just uh, grind up and uh, uh, then then you know just you do you, you end up uh, not finding that i'll just make a new folder here anyway and i'll make it trust okay trust one okay the folder and whatever the folder you know output uh, you know designation location i'll just copy it right Control plus C, copy, and okay, then we'll save. And uh, then when you press an okay, the drawing will open in your AutoCAD, provided you have AutoCAD installed in your system. So uh, it will take some time. Uh, till then, uh, we'll just uh, prepare for some other drawings. So uh, I'll go to the, you know, this uh, plinth level. And in this uh, plinth level, uh, we will find out this uh, general arrangement drawing of the plinth level. Okay, now some sound has been come now as you can see this is drawing is ready this uh, you see the pad basis details also so these are all ready here so nothing to worry everything drawing you can find out we'll just also find out the column schedule first so for the column schedule uh, I'll just go to draw and here the column schedule here and uh, okay so we'll go to this draw here and go to any anywhere else and then the column schedule will probably come and select all okay it is not coming right now well, there is might be some reason why it is okay this is this is i think concrete column schedule right Con -con configure and create a concrete column schedule is for concrete so this will not come and uh, let's see uh, some other things this uh, will go for this general arrangement drawings in here in this uh, plinth level so we'll just untick this and uh, this we will give our location which i will be at copied enter and this copy so when you click on okay 
you find the general arrangement drawing of this and you find this uh you know this uh, details of this beams let's see if we can uh, find out the beam schedule here the current view doesn't contain any beam so it is uh, uh, simply this is a uh, you know your uh, in particular for the rcc so let me just try again a concrete beam schedule available drawings add here and uh, content we'll see Mm. Show all members. Okay. Level. So it's not showing. So it's definitely for the only the concrete here. Or else, if there is anything else, I'll just uh, you know just let you know. Right now, it's only for concrete. So this is uh, the thing. So now, if we have to just find out the sections and all, uh, we need to just uh, check here, and you can see from the model itself. We can check the sections uh, from here since so ISMB 600. I replied the same section, so there is no not any problem in uh, knowing the sections. And uh, if there is any other uh, way to better way to do this, I'll just find it out and uh, tell it to you. And uh, in the report also, you can just uh, go here and uh, calculate the material listing. And in the material listing, it will show the total quantity of uh, the materials which has which you need to use for the section for all types of steel. The material which you, this is a very helpful because when you're going to purchase this the total quantity of steel for say let's say uh this for this this particular section you know how much surface area and total surface area so for that by from the surface area you can find out the weight easily and uh, you can also find out this you can uh, also find out the weight by the total running meter also so you'll find out these details are very useful from the total running meter you can find out the total weight which you will need to use in the project so this is uh, pretty much useful. So the this video is still now. Uh, this pretty much covers the entire thing of an industrial uh, structure design uh, using truss in the technical structural designer. So uh, how did you find this video? Make sure you comment below and uh, keep learning. Bye-bye.